Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I am doing a long awaited Q&A. So this is the first Q&A on my channel, so I thought that I'd put on my Instagram little thing so people can ask me some questions. And I've got a few questions, so I'm just going to answer them in this video. So before I start, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and make sure you subscribe down below. And without further ado, let's get in to the video. So I've got the questions on my phone and I'll put a little photo on the screen of the question. So the first one... Wow, it's not the first one, but I got, if I can show you, I got quite a few. So I'm just going to start from the top and work my way down. First question is, what do you think about today's generation, e.g. thoughts on technology? Now, I haven't, I wouldn't say I've grown up in the world of technology. Obviously, I kind of have, I kind of haven't. I had my first film when I was like 11, 12. And then I remember on my 12th birthday, my, I got my first contract film. Whereas my sister, who's three, four years younger than me, she had her first contract film when, when I had mine. So she would have been like eight when she had hers. So obviously it's quite a big difference. Then obviously it's getting lower and lower. Like my little brother's seven and six, nearly seven, and he's obsessed with iPhones and iPads. Personally, I think that we need to kind of step back from technology just a little bit because like... I scroll through Instagram and I feel, personally, I feel, like, insecure about some certain things. Um, like, you see, like, these amazing, like, perfect models. Obviously, you know that it's not all real. But at the same time, in them photos, it looks real. So, you're, like, putting yourself down about that. I don't think that's good for any of our house. I don't... In, in some ways it's good because obviously like how many people can make a career through technology like pretty much every career is has technology involved in it however i don't really know i don't i don't know what life would be like about technology now in the past 10 years how much has grown i don't know what it would be like does that make sense but my thoughts personally are we just need to kind of slow down on the technology just a little bit because it's going to get too out of hand. The, the second question is, do you want to drive and are you learning? So yeah, I want to drive so badly. I started learning on my birthday, which was last year, May. Um, I started driving then and I've had like a couple months off in between because I started really revising for my exams in December because I had them in January so I stopped I've stopped driving and I just haven't got back into it since and I should because I want to drive so bad it's so much easier driving but it is what it is and when I'm ready I will start learning to drive again and guys I'm so sorry about my hair my hair always looks a mess like this is just my natural hair in a ponytail it just looks like oh. So the next question is, what was it like moving school? So for obviously most people on here who don't know, I actually went to one secondary school for year seven and halfway through year eight. And then I moved to the secondary school that I stayed at for the rest of it. And then I'm actually in sixth form that secondary school as well. Obviously I'm not gonna say because some people, obviously, obviously some people know. Whereas some people don't know, so I don't just want to put it on the internet what school I go to. And personally, for me, it wasn't that hard moving school because I moved to a school where I literally knew... I probably spoke to more people at the new school than what I did at my old school. Like, obviously, I knew the people at, like in my old school because you pretty much know everyone in your year. But, like, I actually got along with so many people in the new school, so that made it so much easier. Every video... <laughs> Personally, for me, it it just made me feel so much better because I was having problems at the old school. And moving to the new school was just like a fresh start, and it wasn't on it wasn't hard at all because people just made you made me feel so welcomed into the school. Um, next one is favorite Netflix shows. Now, I have watched so many shows on Netflix. Some of them I've got into, some of them I haven't. Um, I'll just name my top ones. So. 
probably my top mm, my top one is probably joint and that's gossip girl and the vampire diaries because i'm just obsessed with them too like i i've literally watched both of them probably three or four times and i don't think i'll ever get bored of them um next is probably 90210 some people probably haven't watched that because it did get removed from netflix a few years ago and i've been trying to search for it everywhere and i cannot find it anywhere but i really really enjoyed watching that as well it was so good i watched that like three times as well um the originals and pretty little liars um i that's probably my top like five is that five or four that's probably my top ones. Uh, there's so many that I've enjoyed, but they are my top ones. Oh, and Degrassi. Pro again, people probably haven't watched that, but I literally got into that and I just keep waiting for the new seasons to come out. I don't know if any more's coming out. And Riverdale. I'm literally, every week I'm waiting for a Riverdale. And when they do their mid-season things, I get so upset and annoyed. <laughs> Next is, what is your best and worst memory from school? So this is another memories one again. Um... I don't, do you know what, yeah, I actually don't know my best memory from school. I literally, in year seven, year eight, year nine, I had literally so many mem good memories at school, like, from my first school and my second school, I had so many good memories, like, most of them's being naughty, not gonna lie, guys, so. Not promoting naughty behaviour, but, yeah. <laughs> um, I know this is a horrible, but me and one of my friends um in year seven or eight um we had this supply teacher and we really hated her and i don't know why but we got sent out and we were just running down the corridor getting people to go into the classroom and call her a crusty shrimp um at ellie aldridge i don't really know why we were calling her that but at the time it was like the funniest thing ever um Another funny thing was tripping up the stairs and losing my shoe in front of loads of people. That was a very embarrassing, but funny, like, funny embarrassing. And my worst is probably not getting along with people and then them turning people on you. And then kind of, at one point I was like hanging around on my own. And then I was like, you know, going into the toilets, like just chilling in the toilets, so like a tramp. Do not recommend because the toilets are disgusting but yeah that's probably my worst memories of school and this one time my teacher followed me home because he thought i was going to beat someone up and i was not beating anyone up next um favorite makeup brand probably revolution not gonna lie because they're so affordable literally revolution is probably equivalent to like smashbox don't know but literally they're how good their products are some high end aren't really that good for the price and then revolution just smash it in every single thing like not even just the eyeshadows like their foundations are good their concealers amazing like just everything about revolution is like it's like they're using the same formula as high brands but for a cheaper price next question is how long have i been interested in true crime now I've probably been interested in it just, I want to say just under a year. The first person was Bella Fiore and if, you, if you're if you interested in true crime and you haven't watched her, you need to watch her. Honestly, she, she explains it so well, like the case, like details, everything, I, I highly recommend watching her. And then I finished watching her, I watched every single one of her videos and she's got like over a hundred i think i don't know i don't know um and then i found eleanor neal so again i've watched all of hers and i found danielle hallen and now like <clears throat> the past few months i've been finding more and more like smaller ones who are actually really good and have such a high potential i watched this woman called samantha and she's not the biggest youtuber in the world but she is so good like the way that she describes her cases it's just unbelievable and someday I hope to be like that. What is my favourite childhood memory? Um, probably holidays. I used to go on holiday every year with my nan and gram. You know, like them sun holidays where you get like £10 per person. Yeah. 
I used to go on them and they were probably the best holidays because you had the best time and when you're younger like your parents make sure that they, they're they looking days out and stuff like that so yeah probably holidays again I don't really know my best memories to be honest with you I can't really remember much of my childhood next question is what editing apps do you use now I use iMovie and I edit on my iPad or iPhone depending on Whichever one I filmed on today, I'm filming on my iPad and I'm hoping that I can send it over to my phone, but I hope so. Um, I also use this one called VLLL and it's really, really good. Like you can add the photos and the text like however you want there. The only thing is, it takes ages to save and I seem to take longer editing on that than what I do on iMovie. I don't know if that makes sense, but... It is really good. If you say you're uploading once a week and you've got that whole week to do it, then it's a really good app. Whereas iMovie, I just think it's a lot faster, a lot more productive. Next question is, when did I first want to start YouTube? Now, me and Alicia were talking about starting YouTube for months and months before we actually started. We kept putting it off like most people do. We put it off and put it off. And then we just thought, you know what, we're starting it. We made it. A YouTube account we started showing it out etc and we just got into it from there and then because I'm interested in true crime and Alicia's not interested in that she's interested in basically what we do on our joint channel so she's doing stuff like that and then I'm kind of moving away from it a little bit obviously I'm doing some of the same stuff but we just wanted to do our own separate things why did me and Alicia make our own channels and again that's basically the same as what I just answered I think I just answered that kind of because we're interested in separate different categories about life I don't know just we're just interested in separate things what inspired you to start YouTube now we watch so many people like for example James Charles he's only been doing it for a couple of years but last year he literally grew so dramatically like he when he hit 10 mil Literally, within like two months, he's then on 14 now. Like, it was crazy. Um, obviously, that was already after we started YouTube. But, like, just how fast people can grow and how, like, real people can be. Like, obviously, you don't know what they're, like, out of social media. But they just seem like they actually care about helping people, if that makes sense. And that's what I want to do. That's what Alicia wants to do. And, yeah, we just wanted to start YouTube. We also used to watch it like constantly. I don't really have much time for it anymore. I don't even have a job, but I still don't have time to watch YouTube videos all the time. But when I do, I just love it. Like I just binge watch YouTube videos, if that's even a thing. Next is who are your favourite YouTubers? Now, I've got so many favourites. Like, I'm, don't get me wrong, I'm probably subscribed to like a lot, a lot of people, but I don't. Like, you know when you see some videos popping up and you're like, oh, I don't watch that person anymore and you just don't unsubscribe? Um, I love watching Mini Jake Paul. I just think he's so adorable. Like, he's just so cute. Um, James Charles, Jeffree Star, um, Anastasia, Kings North. Obviously, my true crime people, they're probably at the top, not going to lie. Uh, so, Ellen O'Neill, Bella Fiore, Danielle Hallen. Georgia Ray, Georgia Marie, um, Lucy Carter, and Ellie Darby. Um, who else do I watch? Mads, love Mads. Imogen, there, I've got so many favourites, and I, I don't even know who I'd put at the top if I'm honest with you. How old are you and when is your birthday? So I'm 17 years old and my birthday is the 26th of May 2001. So I'm going to be 18 in like three months and I'm so excited. I don't know why because it's not like I'm going to be going out because I'm not that sort of person. But I don't know, 18 is just a milestone. Like you don't have to like, how do I explain it? Like, I don't know about some people, but when I'm with someone and they're buying a drink, I feel like anxious that I'm going to get asked for ID and obviously I'm underage. But I'll be like, eh, here's my ID. But I already get gassed enough about buying scratch cards. I don't know if it's just me and I'm just a weirdo, but I love, I love having that just... Mm. And that was it, ladies and gents. So I hope you kind of got to know a bit more about me. If you do like videos like this, 
then please tell me in the comments I can do more like personal Q and A's, I can do Q and A's with my boyfriend, with my friends. Just give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it and please subscribe to my channel and I will see you in my next video. Bye!